issues. Inflammation can cause it, dry eyes can cause it, allergies can cause it, lack of sleep can cause it, and even irritations or irritants like chemicals or smoke can cause your eyes to look red or pink. channel. I am Dr. Loretta Justin, your optometry diva. I'm passionate about healthy eyes and creating a vision for your life. On this channel, you'll find integrative eye care tips, empowering insights, and strategies to help you envision and create the life of your dreams. Before anything else, show me some love and subscribe to the channel right now. All right, ready to step into your power today? Let's dive into our topic. In this episode, I'm gonna to talk to you about the curse of the pink eye. Dun, dun, dun. But before I talk about what it is and kind of go through it, let's see what's going around on social media and what people are saying and doing for pink eyes. Let's see. Okay, so this is a pink eye remedy that I heard about from my Swedish friend, Rebecca. It is so easy and you definitely have everything you need because <sighs> it's chamomile tea. So I take no. two tea bags and I'm going to let it brew for about five minutes. And obviously it'll brew like any tea faster if you cover it up, mm. which I did. And then, you know, just wait a couple minutes. I'm getting everything ready. So all you have to do is take a clean towel okay, or paper towel. Clean towel. That's a good thing. And put it in the chamomile tea. I'm letting it cool off. Um, as I walk outside and check on the little kids, our nine month old has a little bit of pink eye and then you just dab it on their face and it's that easy on the eyes, obviously a couple times. So you just dab it on their face. Okay. What's wrong with this video? Everything is wrong, wrong with this ladies do it to that poor baby, putting some hot water in the poor baby's eye. All right. So my job is to empower you with information. So you know what to do and what not to do. The biggest problem with this video, she doesn't really know exactly what's causing this pink eye. I'll talk about this in a few minutes, but most importantly, before you do anything, you need to know exactly what's causing this because it, she may be making this situation worse. So don't do this, right? You guys, if you get a pink eye, go see an eye doctor like myself before you do anything. All right, let's get to it and talk about what exactly is pink eyes. Pink eye is the layman's term for conjunctivitis. In your eyes, you have a clear membrane that covers the white part of your eye. It's called the conjunctiva. So whenever you hear me say anything that ends in the, the sound itis, think of the word inflammation. So conjunctivitis is the inflammation of the conjunctiva, the part that covers the eye. But the thing is, it is the appearance of it that makes us call it the pink eye. However, so many things can cause conjunctivitis or the pink eye. You have things like um, virus can cause it, bacteria can cause it, fungus can cause it, that is bad news. Inflammation can cause it, dry eyes can cause it, allergies can cause it, lack of sleep can cause it, and even irritations or irritants like chemicals or smoke can cause your eyes to look red or pink. So each one of these causes require a different type of treatment. It's important to get checked first. Once we figure out what's the cause of the pink eye, then we can create a particular type of treatment. So symptoms of pink eyes, red eyes, itchy eyes, you can get pain, you can get light sensitivity for a pink eye. You can feel like there's something in your eyes. So there are different symptoms. Obviously it'll be red. You see the vessels well pronounced. There are different things that you can feel when you have the pink eye because each one of these things can cause the appearance of the pink eye. Generally we think of it like a viral in, uh, infection is what we think about the pink eye, but other things can cause it. And the number one thing you don't want it to be is a fungal infection, especially if you wear contact lenses. If you have a fungal infection that's not treated, you can literally go blind within 36 to 72 hours. So like in three days, you can go blind with your eyes. So you guys, don't, don't take risks with that. It's something so serious. Before you start doing anything, you wanna make sure that it is something that um, you can 
that you can take care of that is not going to hurt you. So although pink eye can go away on its own, you wanna make sure you are seen by an eye care professional before you do anything. What are some tips to prevent yourself from getting pink eye? Number one, wash your hands. That's the number one thing, right? We discovered that through COVID. Washing hands makes such a huge, huge, huge difference. You wanna to avoid touching your eyes. You wanna use clean towels. Don't share towels. You wanna to get the proper amount of sleep. You wanna eat a good, healthy nutrition. All of that goes along with maintaining and preventing pink eyes. You also want to take care of other conditions that you may have that can cause it like arthritis and various conditions that can cause the eye to swell up. And you definitely want to get an eye exam once a year to make sure your eyes are okay. So my point is, even though pink eye could be something simple and can resolve on its own a lot of times, just to be sure and for peace of mind, you guys, you want to check and make sure that there is nothing else going on before you start self-medicating. So that's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it to others you think might benefit from this information from Pink Eye. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button for when I do more videos on eye care tips. If you have any questions or comments about your eyes, please leave a comment below and let me know what questions you have. That way I can answer them for you and give you suggestions and tips of how to keep your eyes healthy. Remember, you have the power to change your life. My job is to help you see it clearly so you can make it happen. Until next time, keep shining and keep thriving, Diva. See you soon.